Welcome to the Interlibrary Loan and Resource Sharing with the Center for Research Libraries. I am Kevin Wilkes. I'm the head of the Access Services Department. And I want to thank you for signing up for this webinar today. We have about 70 institutions who are represented today. And before we get started, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping. All phones have been muted during the presentation, and they will be unmuted during the question and answering session. Now let me give you a quick rundown of the things that we'll be discussing today. We have a lot of topics to be searching or going over um, within this hour. First, I'm going to be today saying who we are, our association with other consortiums, how to access our material, how to send IIL requests to us, how we ship our material to you, and then two exciting programs at the center, the digital delivery program as well as the demand purchase program. And then also I'm going to be talking to you about record loading. The center is an actual building with people. We're located on the south side of Chicago. We were established in 1949 with 10 Midwest University libraries, and we were once called the Midwest Intralibrary Center. The building is four levels high and it is climate control, which helps with the long-term preservation of our material. We are a consortium of approximately 250 members located throughout the United States and Canada and Hong Kong. We support cooperative acquisition and preservation for research and teaching. We hold scholarly resources rarely held by other research libraries. We have approximately 5 million volumes in our collection. We use two types of shelving. Stacking, which you see here, which is on our second floor, which covers our serials and our, our recent journals. And then compact shelving, which we, you will find on our fourth floor, which is our dissertation collection. Many of our members are involved with consortiums that facilitate resource sharing. As we all know, patron-initiated requesting is on the rise. Patrons now want to request books from their desktop at home, in their office, or at the local coffee shop. They also want to have the material delivered within one or two days or even in hours to help our members get the most use out of their membership and to allow quick access and delivery of our materials. We have joined many of these consortiums, such as Article Reach, Rapid, Prospector for our Colorado members, Ohio Link for those in Ohio, Connect New York for our members on the East Coast, and soon we'll be joining Borrow Direct. We're always willing to explore the possibility of joining other consortiums, which will benefit our members' use of the center in its material. To access our material is really easy. Our catalog is located on our website at www. Dot CRL dot edu. Other means of accessing our material are through our focus newsletter, topic guides, area studies projects, OCLC, as well as Google. Focus purpose is to build awareness of theme issues. This fall, the subject was government technical rights. And we're going live to our focus. You may also find past issues of focus by clicking on issue index, and you'll find subjects, subjects of interest as South and Southeast Asia resources, dissertation collections, and women's studies. You may also find on our website topic guides with subjects such as art and architecture, medicine, and World II and Inter Aftermath. Our topic guides will be expanding with even more subjects on December 8th. 
Also by searching our Area Studies Microform Project, which covers CAMP, LAMP, MIMP, SAMP, SEAM, and SIMP materials, you are able to see our holdings right from our website. You are also able to find our holdings on OCLC, for we are only one of few libraries that consistently update our holdings. And you may also find some of our material on Google through WorldCAD. Now this is extremely helpful for your faculty or students to give them access to our material while they're studying or doing research abroad. On our catalog, you're able to search by the usual keyword, author, title, subject, OCLC number. You're also able to search just our serials collection or our newspapers, dissertation collection, or our digital collection. You're also to search our newspaper collection, but not only the keyword or the title or the subject, but also you could do a geographical search by country, by state. You could search our ethnic newspapers or our CC camp papers by state. or by the company number. Our newspaper collection is one of the strongest collections at CRL. Now let's do a dissertation search. You're able to search by keyword, author, title, subject, or OCLC number, but you can also search by the awarding institution, by country, or the institution itself. I'll speak with you in a moment about searching our digital collection. Now, even though we are a member-based institution, our non-member institutions are able to request from us under different terms and for a fee. You may send us requests through OCLC Iliad. Our symbol is CRL. And we do ask you to enter us first in the lender stream and to put us in twice. Or you can send us requests through fax. Our fax number is 773-955-9732. Or you can send us a request through the hard copy form sent through mail such as the ALA ILL form, or through our general email account at ASD at CRL.edu. As I mentioned earlier, we are affiliated with consortiums which request through InReach, Article Reach, and Rapid. Our entire collection circulates to our members, and we do our best to preserve fragile material by shipping materials, um, wrapping it in brown, ba brown, brown paper or through bubble wrap, or we may even put restrictions such as library use only, or we ask that the material be used under supervision. We are able to turn around or respond to more re most of our requests within 24 hours. There are always possible delays, of course, of such things as citation problems or material not on shelf due to use or that the material is just missing. 90% of our field loans in articles have a one-day turnaround period. We have a very generous loan period, either for our non-member institutions. For our members, our loan period is three months with unlimited renewals. The only time you hear from us is when we are recalling the material for another member. All of our loans are shipped by UPS, second day delivery. For our members in Ohio, we do use the Ohio Link Courier system. 
For our Illinois members, we use the Carly system. If you have a rush request, we are more than willing to ship the material via FedEx if you are willing to provide us with your FedEx account number. It is our desire to assist our members in any way possible that we can. For copies, we send the articles through Arial, and our Arial is always on send only, so we're sorry we cannot receive an Arial from you, so if there is a problem, we ask that you contact us via email or just give us a call. We also send articles through Odyssey, fax if you desire, email, PDF attachment, or through the regular U.S. postal system. Now, our digital delivery program has been in existence since 2006. We first started digitizing just monographs that were pre-1923. Now we are able to digitize all monographs, microfilm, microfiche, and even microcards. We have also responded to teaching use by arranging for scanning such material as the Indian Rebellion of 1857, which we did for Vassar, and the FBIS material we did for the University of Illinois. The strategic goal for the center is to provide resources in digital format for research teaching purposes. We digitize over 700,000 pages each year, and our goal is to increase that to 800,000 pages. We select material for digitizing in two ways. First, through digital delivery, and that is where the patron has submitted an ILL request for the material. We then select that material for being scanned, and about 75% of our digital collection does come from digital delivery. The other 25% comes from strategic scanning, or as we call, planned scanning. This material is carefully selected, and we think that it is of interest to your research. Here we have a picture of some of the material which we have scanned, foreign doctoral dissertations, early medical studies, and government documents. We will digitize any format, hard copy, microfilm, microfiche, as well as microcards. The turnaround time for scanning is approximately five business days. Now this is how the digitization process works. First, we receive a request from your institution. We then take a look at the material and make sure that the condition of the material is good enough to stand being scanned. Once we've decided that scanning is possible, we notify the member institution that we are going to scan this material. We then create a file for it and we assign it a delivery date. We scan the material. We create an OCR for it so that it's searchable by text. And then we save it as a PDF file. We mount it on our server and we link it from our record into OPAC. Now the reason for doing that is so that the material is always available for any future use. We then send the member an email with the URL and we update our RailCat so therefore anyone can search for that material and see that it is available electronically. Now with our strategic digitization, or as we call it, our plan scanning, we attempt to identify for scanning material which supports your undergrad instruction or research projects. We have scanned materials such as the Drum Magazine, the CCC Camp Papers, as well as theses by notable scientists. As I mentioned earlier, you can access our digital collection through many ways. It could be done through WorldCat, our online catalog. We're going to show you how to do that by doing a keyword search on our catalog. We're going to type in global water.
And then we're going to go to Western aid in the global economy. When you click on the digital version or the online version, it'll take you to the copyright protection agreement form. You need to agree to that. And when you click on, it'll take you directly to the scans. Material which is under copyright, it is available to our members only. Material that is not under copyright, it is even accessible by non-members by just a click. You can even access our material through our quick links. And you'll find at the upper right corner of our main web page. And if you just click on digital collection, it'll take you right to, to our collection of digital material. If you are accessing off campus, if you have a patron who is accessing off campus, they must have proxy. Once again, if the request comes from the library, we will send the library the URL. The library should then send that URL to the patron who may then access the material. And again, they must have proxy. Now I want to tell you about a program for accessing material, which we do not own, and increasing our collection, or as I should say, your collection. For our members, this is your collection. The Demand Purchase Program has been set in place for CRL members only so that they may be able to access material which we currently do not own or which may have partial dates or reels within our collection. It covers three areas, archival material, newspapers, foreign doctoral dissertations. The demand purchase process is initiated by you sending us an ILL request. There is a $2,000 limit per patron. And what I mean by that is not institution, but the actual patron of each institution. For more costly material, or material that does not fit into any of these three categories, you may want to utilize one of our other purchase programs, such as our purchase proposal program. For this, material must cost over $1,000. Nominations are taken and it is voted upon once a year. Or our shared purchase program, where a group of member institutions are interested in the same type of material and they have come together and pledged money towards the purchase of that material. Or our scholars access program, where the cost of the material must be $300 or more and this material is not added to our collection. More information on any of these programs can be found on our website, or you may contact Mary Wilkie. Now for archival material, it covers such material as the U.S. National Archives, Great Britain Public Record Office, which is now called the Great Britain National Archives. But it no longer is limited to just archives of the national government. In 2000, we expanded this program to include the archives of semi-government organizations and institutions. For newspapers, it's foreign and domestic newspapers, of which we already own one date. So what does that mean? It means that if we own only July 1st of 1956, and your patron is looking for a newspaper for 1963, by us owning that one date, we will attempt to purchase the 1963 for your patron. For a doctoral dissertation, these are dissertations that are outside of the United States and Canada. To expedite the purchasing of these dissertations, we ask you to put on your form in the borrowing notes field, if not owned, please purchase. 
Now, many of the institutions today are asking for a signed copyright declaration form. And many institutions are requesting their own form, such as Cambridge, Hong Kong, Manchester, and others. For those forms, we are asking for you, if you do not have one, to please contact us, and we'll send you the form that you need. Once you have the form, the patron needs to complete it and sign it, and they must be mailed back to us. These institutions are now requiring the original signed copy of the form. Many of the British Library dissertations are now accessible through their ethos program. If there is a cost for the initial scanning of a dissertation, we ask that you send us the request for that dissertation. We will then pay for the initial scanning and we will then inform you once the scans are available. CRL has contributed to the scanning of dissertations provided by Ethos. I strongly suggest that you take full advantage of the Demand Purchase Program. This is a way for not only you to have access to more material, but it also allows for cooperative resource sharing for all of our members. Many times one member requests us to purchase material that is then requested by other members even before we have actually received the material. Now I'm going to talk to you real quickly about record loading. Now this is a totally free program for our members only. It enhances the visibility of your participation in the Center for Research Library. And more of your patrons are requesting material you'll find by having the records in your catalog. And it also provides you more use of your membership. It also increases accuracy with patron-initiated requests. We have had universities such as Harvard and the University of Florida who have loaded our records, as well as consortiums such as OhioLink and Prospector. We have over 1.3 million records in our collection. Portions of our catalog may be downloaded instead of the entire catalog. You can, tag, you can download our newspapers, or you may want to just do our dissertations or our digital collection. But once again, this is a totally free program just for our members. Now, if you happen to have somebody who is visiting the Chicago area and would like to utilize our reading room, We're asking you to give us three business days advance notice to make certain that the material is here at the center. And of course the reason for that is because all of our material does circulate to our members. Our reading room hours are Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock to 2. It is by appointment only. 